All right, we are on to step eight, journalizing closing entries for this company. So in order to do this, we are going to need our adjusted trial balance, and we are also going to need our general journal. All right, let's resize some of these. All right, so when we're doing our closing entries, I'm actually going to make some notes down here. There are actually two closing entries that we're going to have to do. Uh, the first one that we're going to do is going to close all of our revenues and our expenses to the capital account. So we're going to close our revenues and close our expenses, and we're going to close those to the capital account. And if that doesn't make sense, don't worry. I'll make it make sense in a second. And our second closing entry is going to close all of our drawing to capital. So let's go ahead and try this first one here. So the first one is close revenues and expenses to capital. Let's start by closing our revenues. We only have one revenue account here, which is fees earned, and it currently has a credit balance of $11,200. So now in order to close that at the end of the accounting cycle, what we need to do is the opposite. So when we say close, what we're trying to accomplish is closing each account out to a balance of zero. Not each account, but whatever account we're trying to close. So in this case, when we're closing revenues, we need to close fees earned out to a balance of zero. So if that currently has a credit balance, we need to debit it for 11,200. Okay. So revenues are now closed. Now it also says that we have to close our expenses. So we have several expense accounts. And since these expenses are all debits, in order to close them out, we have to do the opposite, credit them. That'll bring them to a balance of zero. So credit salaries and wages expense for 270. Credit supplies expense for 800, credit rent expense by 500, credit telephone expense by 200, credit advertising expense 400, and credit depreciation expense by 100. And since miscellaneous expense has a balance of zero, it's already zero, we don't have to close it out. Now you'll notice, I'm gonna do some math down here. If we go ahead and sum up all of these expenses that we have here, it gives us a total of $2,270 in expenses. You know, remember one of our most important rules when we are journalizing is our debits have to equal our credits. So we have 11,200 on the debit side, but only 2,270 on the credit side, which means that we're going to do something called a plug. So we have 11,200 on the debit, and then we have all of these different credits here. Yes, fix it. Which means that we need to plug in 8,930 here on the credit side. Because you'll notice when we go ahead and include that in our math, now it makes our debits equal our credits. Now, what account do we use for that plug? Well, that's where this word to the right of the two comes into play. We're going to close it to capital. So we're not actually closing the capital account, you see. We're simply closing it to capital. So close to Jonathan Tinker, comma, capital. And I hope this 8,930 looks familiar from our financial statement video. So for our second entry, we're going to be closing drawing. Let's start with that. So drawing has a 1,000 debit balance. So to close it out, we're going to have to credit it. So skip a line. Credit the drawing. And what are we going to close that to? So we have another plug here. Again, capital. And that's it for closing entries. So it should be pretty simple. However, there is one thing I do want to point out. Um, notice capital is increasing by 8,930 and decreasing by 1,000. 
I just want to go over to our financial statements again. That statement of owner's equity that we did. Notice that we had a $15,000 uh, contribution. There's our $15,000 balance. And then we increased it by 8,930 and decreased it by 1,000 in withdrawals. And if you want to, if it helps, you could go ahead and make that a negative if that helps you out a little bit. But essentially, um, that's exactly what it's doing is it's taking that $15,000 balance, increasing it by 8,930, decreasing it by 1,000, and that's it. It's simply updating all of those different balances that we have there. And then I'm sure that since we are doing some type of entry, you know what our next step in the next video is going to be. Uh, we're going to have to post those closing entries to the general ledger. So let's go ahead and move on to the next video and accomplish step nine.